got to coach the king, but he's also a, a guy who was like a father, a father figure to LeBron up to this day and still a very good confidant uh, of the king himself. Uh, talk a little bit about, did you see this coming? I know your son's out there with him at the camps in Vegas. So, I mean, talk about having a little bit of an insight. Um, honestly, uh, you know, I tried to stay as far away from it as I could. Uh, you know, uh, Drew is out there or was. He, came, he returned uh, last night. Uh, but uh, I, I just wanted to, you know, I understand my place. You know, I, I want to give Ron his space. I respect uh, him as a man, and he's going to make the right decision. I'm going to be very supportive of it, uh, of whatever that decision would be. And uh, I'm just uh, excited right now that uh, the decision is to come back home and, uh, and to uh, share uh, his uh, abilities and talents with uh, Northeast Ohio and, and uh, his home fans. Whether or not you had any knowledge, inside knowledge, if you did, I mean, you're basically your starting five from high school was out there with them in Vegas, exactly. so it was pretty darn close <laughs> to as much information as you're going to get. But more important than the money, more important than anything else, you know this better than anything, LeBron's all about integrity, his legacy, and what this means to the people around him to come back home. In some ways, it almost makes as tough a decision as it was, in the back of your mind, you knew he's going to do the right thing. Yeah, I, you know, honestly, I believe that, uh, you know, uh, going into this, he was going to, you know, make the, the best decision for him and his family. Um, uh, and I, I guess I, I've always kind of read through the lines, you know, between the lines, if you will. Uh, he just kept talking about Northeast Ohio and Akron. And, you know, he's in Miami and he's talking about Akron. And, you know, uh, a, a, as I said to uh, Leon earlier, uh, he changed residences. He just he never moved. Yeah, and I think that was a great line. You were with Leon at noon, and I just thought that was one of the lines that kind of stuck out uh, to me today. But this day as a whole, and just to have it all come around again, Coach, and to see him come back, what does it mean to you as a friend and somebody who's been as close as you can possibly be? Wow, it means a lot. Uh, it means a lot just for him to have the opportunity to uh, to, uh, to to change a perception uh, that uh, was uh, that happened when uh, he uh, left. Uh, not that he has to, because he doesn't. I think that uh, you know uh, he did things. Uh, you know maybe maybe didn't things do didn't things didn't when he left didn't come off the right way. But he you know I felt that his heart was never to leave. It was more of a necessity that he believed it was a necessary thing to leave. Uh, uh, in the same way, uh, I, I recognized that um, this is coming, that it was going to come full circle. I just believed that in my heart that it was going to come full circle. And uh, today, uh, that, that belief has come through. And I, I'm excited for him and uh, what uh, you know, stands before all of us. Uh, I'm very hopeful uh, with the, the Cavs organization and that they uh, build the right pieces around it. And, uh, we get the championship that we've all been longing for. Yeah, that, that is certainly the next step. Drew Joyce, thank you so much for stopping by. We greatly appreciate you being in studio hey, today. Hey, thank you for having me. It's a great day. We're excited, yes. Leon, Lee.